This has been the hardest blog to do with the masculine because I literally have did this video a dozen times and I can't seem to share the energy. We have all been in the masculine energy and we have all been in the feminine energy, but what I am finding is that during the time that I was in the masculine energy, feeling that energy and feeling a need to integrate all that energy, that I had to remove the pain of that energy. And I really thought that I did, but I had a situation a few months ago and I don't know if it was just what I'm thinking went what I'm thinking happened is that I was a trigger for this person and I triggered this person not even knowing that I was triggering them. And as I look back and as I think about it, I start realizing that um, just for the mere app, as the mere thought of maybe um, there could be something there, and there was a possibility I think it brought up all of his childhood trauma. But don't get me wrong, because my trauma was shown. And my trauma was actually in a ceremony have I healed from the pain of the masculine energy. that has been portrayed to me, through me, with me, within me. You, you get what I'm saying? Because we are indeed attraction and we attract the energy that we most need to heal. And so I know this is a hard thing to talk about, but we truly attract the very thing that we most need to heal. And even in that, if you've done your healing, you're going to attract healed people. And if you haven't healed, you're going to attract people that are not healed. So I really truly had to look at that because I'm very aware that it's not just one person. It is a plethora of the experience. I think I'm gonna go inside. It's a plethora of the energy of the feminine and the masculine. And I think where I have found myself is in that space that I really need to look at me. Now I'm not saying his behavior was my fault 
what I'm saying is what did I need to learn from him that drove me into that reality? Because it's affected truly this conversation with the masculine energy. I was really, in so many ways, devastated and hurt. And I think I was hurt because I've been working on this shit for a long time. And I've been working on healing my shadows for a long time. And to be put in a place that I'm second guessing myself was very hard for me. But one thing I realized is that my response to the trigger was a telltale sign that I am healed. It was a telltale sign that I did the work. And it wasn't easy. And I had to see mirrors of it again to really bring my resolve. And this person really helped me because many, 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 many years ago, I was in a relationship like that. And I could not identify what was real, what was love what was truth. And I was trying to figure that out with my children. So you see when the masculine doesn't like women, they can't wait to take their rage out on her and I think it's the same way with females but right now we're talking about the masculine at this point in time because this has been a very hard experience for me and all the men that I have in my life they're beautiful beautiful people, beautiful people. They're positive. They've been a positive role model for me. Um, every one of them, I could call them right like that and they would pick up the phone and they would be there for me. But I'm sharing with this to with you Sorry about the blah, blah, blah. sharing this with you because of the fact this is a huge issue. Women are being gaslighted throughout our society, saying that they're not being, these things are not happening to them, but these things are happening to them and they need to trust their self wherever you don't feel comfortable with you have to walk away and 
I learned so much in such a short time. And it was so easy for me to allow myself to really evaluate where my heart was and where my heart was going with that. And I think sometimes we are so desperate And I'm, I'm speaking for myself also. Sometimes we're so desperate to have acceptance. We're so desperate to, to um, be heard and to be understood that sometimes um, we don't see danger when it's coming. And I am very very, very thankful that the divine intervened in my behalf. I'm very thankful that the divine trusted me enough to allow me to go inward and I was able to go inward and not have a response to the behavior. I could only be an observer. The masculine energy is under attack, but not really. It's not under attack. Is actually has waged war on itself. And at first I thought that it was, you know, that the masculine was going through this great um, awakening, but they're in war with themselves. And I wanna say to you guys that are twins, you have to come to a place in your twin flame journey to realize that some of your twins are not going to come out of the dark night of the soul and nor will they in your lifetime. And you have to be ready for that. And, you know, I can't tell you what that means and to you, everybody's individual. You'll know when it's time to just stop. But, you know, I've heard stories of people waiting for their twins for 20 years. That is insane to me. Because at one point, when do you begin to love your divine self and expand yourself be beyond that? because that is just a part of your journey. It's not all of your journey. So as I sit here and I'm talking to you, I had to, you know, give you an explanation why it's been so hard for me. It's been truly hard for me. And um, one out of five women have been raped and the stats of domestic violence toward women are incredible and a lot of domestic violence is not even reported. And I'm not saying this is, this doesn't happen to the masculine, but if you look at it on a pendulum, it is an overwhelming fact that a majority of the masculine energy 
has been lascivious. They have hurt women, maybe not physically, but emotionally, financially. And so for the awakening for the feminine has been something that was a long time coming. And it was like Gaia and his divine wisdom just, just started working with her because she was open. She was open. Um, the masculine is having a hard time to be open. They're having, uh, they're really just struggling. And don't get me wrong, not all masculine men fall under this category. Because like I said, I have some wonderful, wonderful masculine energy around me. And when I was going through this situation just recently, I literally went to a dear friend of mine's and Ireland. I hope I got that right. I I hope I got that right. I think he lives in Ireland. I can't. But he's a he's a shaman, right? He meditates and I've known him for oh my god, probably 16, 17 years. I've known him for a very long time. And I expressed to him how I was feeling and I was broken because there was at one time I just couldn't believe that somebody could speak words so unkind to a human being like like how could you like w what makes a person speak like that in the world in which we're living in especially being awakened. It was intolerable. Like, who could tolerate that? And so, I went to my friend and he told me something that really resonated with me. He says, Sarah, it's okay to feel hurt, to feel anger, to feel sad and to feel depressed. But don't let these feelings live in your head or your heart. Let them pass through you. It's an experience. I was so glad that he said that to me because when people attack you, especially females, they're very, they're very notorious. We are, as females, very notorious with when things are not perfect, we take on that energy and we become very apologetic and, you know, take on the assault like it's ours and it's not yours, girls. The masculine energy is destroying itself within itself. You can't be responsible for decisions of other people. What we're here to do is in our awakened state, we are here to hold space and we're only holding that space for those who are open for the shift and that are ready for the shift because not everyone is ready for the shift. Not everyone is ready. It doesn't matter what they say. Because actions speak louder 
than words. And so, I knew that this video was going to be a hard one, but I had no idea how much pain that I would feel in delivering this message that I truly have to do two parts. I want you guys to think about this. If it doesn't resonate with you, it's fine. But if it resonates with you, share it with a friend because we're going deep into the abyss of the man's psyche, how they think and why they think the way they do. I encourage you to like my page, share it, make a comment if you like. And my fabulous, fabulous masculine energy that always seems to protect me. I do appreciate you guys. You guys are on the cutting edge of change and you are aligned with the feminine energy and I so adore you. But now we're cleaning house because this awareness needs to be seen. Look at your papers, look at the magazines, look at the news. It is masculine energy everywhere and it's not pretty. So have a good day. I will be on very soon with part two of masculine energy. Thank you.